Hello mates, welcome back. Yeah, Snuffington time, sun's out. Yeah, sorry about the bedraggled flowers behind, but I forgot to water them. <laughs> Mrs M wasn't too impressed, but all the others over there look lovely. And these down here as well. You just can't see them. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? So I've been banging on about Token Otto for a little while, but I've got one of their new ones, Otto. Caribbean, or Caribbean, Caribbean, I call it. Um, just got it in, uh, yeah, it just arrived the other day. 10 gram tin, uh, nice tins. Uh, it's had a bit of a dint on the bottom, but that doesn't affect anything at all. Uh, yes, as I say, 10 gram, nice tin, screw top, nice label, everything is fine and dandy so i'm told reliably told by roderick that the base flower in here is made up of mm, is made up a base flower from england italy and poland and maybe turkey that were a bit i'm not sure and that's what makes it different and it smells a little bit sweet and you get a little bit of rum coming off the tin. It's rather nice, I must say. Mm. Um, so have I got, I've got, put that down, don't drop it, don't drop it. Uh, I've got a snuff hanky. It's one of them uh, enormous hanky companies again. The lovely of these, here I'll show you. Mrs. M's eyeing this for me, which is rather jolly decent. Come on, look at that. You could hand that on your flagpole outside your house, couldn't you? <laughs> if you were so inclined. I have a flagpole outside my house, believe it or not. And uh, uh, yes, what, uh, you're wondering what I'm flying at the moment. Well, I'm flying uh, the flag of St. George. That's what I'm flying seeing all these protests going on down in London and all of this nonsense that's going on at Manchester Airport and all the rest of it and sometimes I just feel quite patriotic uh, you know I love my country I'm English I'm proud to be English I'm not British I'm English it's different I love Britain also but England's my home I'm English God save the king. Right, enough of that nonsense. A little bit of sweetness. Let's have a look. Shall we poke it round a bit, as the actress said to the bishop? Mm, it's a little bit different, not as oily as I would have expected. Yeah, get a sweetness out of it. Maybe that's the raisins, because I believe essentially it's rum and raisin, but it, it's got a, a slight, yeah, sweetness. Don't know if there's anything else in there. Front of nose. What's the grind like? Like all the uh, the toke and the otto. If anything, I'd say maybe. What do you think? Is it a little bit coarser? It's hard to tell. You get rum and raisin. You get a lot of rum. Dark rum. Molasses. Oh, I think that sweetness is coming from that smell of molasses and raisins. It's got a bit of a sting to it. There's no mental in it. No, no. None of that. But it is does give you a little stingy burn. And it doesn't help. Uh, seek out, you know. Yeah, all the little nooks and crannies up your nose holes. <laughs> it's nice, it's really nice. I really like it. But is it that different? Have we been there before? I think we have. From memory, one of my Simply Snuffingtons has uh, got a bit of rum and raisin in it. I like rum and raisin ice cream, actually. 
<laughs> That's probably my favourite. My least favourite, mint. What's the point? Mint. You just want mint sauce on your lamb, don't you? Don't want ice cream out of it. It's nice, isn't this? It really is nice. And it's a giver. It starts as soon as you get up your nose holes. You can get it. Yeah. It's lovely. It's got a little tingly burn. Very pleasant. Very easy to take. Very easy to enjoy. Oh. Otto. Caribbean. 10 gram tin. Nicely packed. Decent vitamin N. Finish. Moistish. Nice aroma coming out the tin. You get a bit of molasses, a bit of raisin, a bit of rum. Sits in the nose holes, it keeps on giving. Yeah, it's still there. Two or three bumps and honestly, you're fully loaded, ready to go. Do I like it? Yes. Will I take it again? Yes. That's the one. Oh, goodness me, that is nice. Perfect. You got the current bun on your face. A lovely snuffing tin up your nostril. I've cooked the dinner. Daisy's, uh, Lily's staying with us, so. She likes a bolognese, so I've cooked a bit of a ragu. I'll have a bit of pasta with it. A bit of garlic bread, probably. I'm going to have to take a little bit more of this. Absolutely ginganguli. Nice one. Now, I've got another one, a new, another new one from Otto, called, I think it's called Forest or Forester or something. Don't matter, because I'll clear that up when I come to review it. But I've got, uh, yeah... Goodness me. Whoa. Maybe that's got a bit more vitamin in than I thought. Whoa. Right, that's it, mate. I waffled on, warbled on, talked for long enough. Whew. Nice glass of rum and coke. Plenty of ice. A slice of lime in it will go down a treat. Unfortunately, I've only got vodka. And have I got any Coke? No. Oh, goodness me. I'd love to have another little bottle of that. It is lovely. You know, as I said earlier, it's not new and unique. There's, there's other rum and raisin around, but it's good. It's a good one. Anyway, that's it. Enough of that. Give it a go. If it uh, sounds like it's to your liking, that it's going to suit your palate, that you might enjoy the experience, there it is. 10 gram of Otto Caribbean. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like and share and all of that type of business. I'm still desperately trying to grow this. See if I can make some money off it and get it to pay for itself. <laughs> we'll leave me know. But anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Chin chin.